places like Summit County are becoming very popular. The growth we're having here is, is incredible over the last 10 years. Promontory is 1,800 units, and I've heard in the, ne in the next you know, 20 years, I think the Utah population is supposed to double. And so the, you know, Utah was a place that seemed a bit off the map, and it's been found, and especially places like Park City. Uh, Promontory is a, geologically, it is quite rocky, and the rock is very hard. It, uh, it's plastic enough so that it doesn't respond well to impact or uh, uh, explosives. Um, it tends to flex and then come back. So for installing the sewer, Ames Construction, when they went to build Promontory, ran their numbers and figured out that it was going to be more cost effective for them to buy a rock trencher than it would have been to lease the time on it. So it, the Promontory development in that aspect, that was one of the things that drove them towards a, uh, an all-terrain sewer. Our district covers 110 square miles of area. We have approximately 25,000 connections that we service. In, in today's world, as we uh, review plans for uh, current systems, we uh, try to push gravity systems as far as we can, and then use the E1 as a tool to uh, you know, so serve those areas that are, uh, you know, more difficult to serve. A development comes in and most of it's uh, gravity, but it just goes over a ridge to get five or six more lots. In the past, we would have had to have a lift station down there to serve five or six lots. And that's just not a lot of lots to, for all the maintenance and attention that has to go into maintaining a lift station. So an all-terrain system, it makes sense there. So our process kind of happens sort of it's in twofold. You have land planners studying the, the terrain and identifying, okay, this little nose of real estate is incredibly valuable. But it could be, you know, facing the wrong direction with regards to, well, you know, the sewer lift stations or the remaining gravity system are all facing this direction. But the, the real estate is so valuable that we've got to, you know, tap it for our, you know, our client. All-terrain sewer has been a, a good option to have in our back pocket. Um, when it eliminate the need for a, you know, district-owned and operated lift station, you know, that's great. Uh, alternatives that were before us was, were to either uh, put in a lot of lift stations, a lot of back lot, uh, uh, off-road sewer, sewer lines or to consider the low pressure systems that would eliminate uh, several of those lift stations as well as the, the back lot sewer lines. The number one benefit that I see all-terrain sewer system is unlocking real estate in the most cost-effective manner. You know, we're not dealing with lift stations, we're not dealing with super deep gravity systems and it provides us you know the most cost effective method to you know develop real estate